I said, what is all the hostility for? Like, I broke hearts. Like, I was out here smashing the homie. Like, what is all the animosity? And that was you. I'm just playing. I play too much. What's up, y'all? Good morning. I'm finna get ready for what? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get ready to record with y'all, to be honest. I'm finna put on a couple of razzle dazzles on my face. To be for real, I got a story time for y'all. <laughs> What's up? How y'all been? How y'all been? How y'all been? How y'all been? How I been too? <laughs> Thank y'all for asking. No, let me stop playing. <laughs> Anywho, so today my freaking story time is going to be about Sprint. Yes, Sprint phone company. My freaking bill with them is $1,400. Last year, me and this guy decided to take, to move in together and, you know, do all this extra shit. Don't judge me on how my eyebrows start off. You gotta start off ugly and get to the, to get to the beautiful picture. So y'all finna see some real <laughs> ugliness going on, but I'm, I'm gonna fix it. I always turn my makeup off, makeup off ugly and then I fix it. I don't know why, cause I can't never just start it cute, but whatever. Anywho, back to the story. So, and I'm limited on resources. So don't, 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 don't judge on tomorrow. Um, or do my makeup in general. But last year, me and this guy decided to date. And, you know, it was, it was cool at first. It was, everything is cool at first. You know, we in the honeymoon stage. Who, was, who am I talking to? Everything is cool at first. Um, very, um, I mean, text me every morning, all day, every day, miss you, babe. I just all this little cute little puppy love shit everybody does okay but everybody does but you know that was like before that was my friend that was my dog like at least i thought um so we were talking for a little bit and mind you he's younger than me and so i never really to be honest i was gonna say it as an age thing but i don't think it's an age thing because all these this is stupid i haven't had luck with one yet so i'm not gonna say an age thing but i was kind of like kind of like scared a little bit because I'm like, ugh, he's younger than me. I don't really do the youngers because y'all already know about the one that got away in the video. If you have not watched that, the one that got away. Um, I should redo that video. Hmm. Um, I definitely should redo that video, but uh, anywho, what is this? I'm like, girls be tensing up and everything. Why do we do makeup? At least me, I do. Cause I'm like, girl, just get it right. Get it tight. But um, anyways, we decided to date last year. Um, it, low key, it ended up kind of moving pretty fast. I had never lived with a dude and you know, it was his suggestion that we, you know, we stay together. And I was like, okay, I'm always open to try new things. I'm always open. So this is where I'm kind of just like, okay, I've never lived with a guy before, let's try, okay. What? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, you know, we tried. And at first it was fun. You know, it was just like, oh, little happy couple. Cooks, things, he goes to work, I cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All that extra stuff, like, it was cool. It was it was actually really cool. Um, but then it got to a point where he was just, he began to get dummy childish. And, you know, I, I needed to do some growing up, too, like, I want to dress, well, this is just how I am, period. Like, I, when something happens, I don't address it in that moment. I give myself time to calm down and then go back and address it. But everybody else likes to dress up in that moment. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't believe in that because that's pricey stuff that I really probably shouldn't be saying. But, you know, for me, I like to come back to it instead of just talking about it right then when you're mad or upset or anything. Like, that's just how I work. Not how everybody else works, but it's okay. So he just begins to do some real childish stuff. Like, let me give examples. And so it would be times where I have really bad panic attacks. So 
I'm like, I can't have nobody like laying on me too heavy for a long time or like holding my wrist together, just putting like, holding me like down, having me confined or anything. That, I'll be like, okay, let go, let go. Like I'll have a whole panic attack. So, you know, he knows that. I told him that, he knows that. He does childish shit like, come in and grab my wrist and put them together on purpose. Have a panic attack, B, have a panic attack, have a panic attack. I'll be like, so you want me to have a panic attack? Okay, whatever, childishness. But like, I don't play about stuff like that. And then it would be stuff like where I would go out and he'd be like, well, your shit gonna be outside. How is my shit gonna be outside of my apartment? Cause mind you, even though he, even though we moved in together, he moved here and he moved into my place. Like, so it's like still, even though we move in together, like why do you keep playing like you gonna have my shit outside? Just stuff like that. And then it was just a whole bunch of extra, like just childishness. Like I'm goofy, but I'm not childish. So it's just a whole lot of stuff that I cannot put up with. And so, you know, D got out of there. So no, I told him, I'm like, you know what? You got to, you guys to make some improvements, you guys to do some, something, you know, something to show me that, that I'm really important to you. But this nigga was not trying to prove nothing. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. So anywho, just to fast, cause this video, I've recorded this before, but the video has been like 40 minutes and I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off like that. Um, just to fast forward, uh, we end up getting into it heavy and I end up kicking him out because I just could not keep dealing with the childishness. Like I just, I was like, you know what? You guys to get out and go because I said, ooh, because I'm just, I'm just not about to deal with it. Like I'm not about to deal with, and this is the other stuff that he would do y'all. It just got to a point where he would come in the house and not speak. Like not, not speak to anybody else, but not, not speak to me. First of all, I don't believe when you walk in the house, you should not speak to everybody. Like, that's just a rule. You need to speak to everybody that's in the room. So that's just one thing for me. But I was like, okay, maybe he must be his different. I'm going to give him a pass. But you're not speaking to me. Or he would come in my house and go in my room and close the door and lock me out and be in there watching TV and on the phone and stuff. And I'm just like, okay. But it's like, it wasn't in no playful type way. Like, he would, like, never come out or he would only come out look at me not say nothing get something about the kitchen to eat or drink and then go back to the room and i'll be looking at him like what is the deal and i couldn't he don't he don't like to talk about his feelings he don't like to talk about like anything and y'all how will anything get fixed if you don't like to talk it out like that's i cannot be in no relationship where we don't talk about nothing like that's just not gonna work for me that's just not gonna work and so i think that's what we was butting heads because I wanted to talk, you know, and I was trying to even do different things with him, like, you know, okay, how about you a letter? You know, I did this. And you're trying to communicate him differently if he didn't like to talk out loud because I know talking about feelings can be hard. Sometimes it's hard for me to even talk about my feelings. Like, he know that though. But anyway, we're not thinking anything. We're not gonna get into what he know because we don't, he didn't know that. Anywho, back to, the, back to the thing. So anyways, I told him, it was one day I told him, I said, look, you need to move out because this is not going to work. I felt myself like starting not to like him. And you know, it takes a lot for me not to like somebody. So I was like, you're going to have to move out. <sighs> Anywho, he ended up moving with people that I knew here. Two people that I knew here. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like I introduced them to him like fake baddies. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know some people here. So anyways. People that I introduced them to ended up, they all ended up moving together and all this different stuff, getting a house, all this, yada, yada. They, you know, that was there, really there for him. So I'm like, good, he got some friends. Hopefully one of the, one of the friends can talk some sense into him because he acts so freaking stupid. Like, I was actually happy that he was hanging out with some guys because I'm like, I'm sick of you being around me every single day. That doesn't make sense. Like, we're together, but the type of person that I am in relationships, I don't like to be. We were literally hugged up all day. And I understood because he don't go to school here. And so, but he don't go to school here. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense that you don't know nobody. Um, but anywho, so I was happy that he found like some people to live with, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, around the time, me and him was like a lot of on and off, up and down. Like, I feel like we had like five mini breakups within our relationship. Like it was, it was weird. So I, that, that was already too much for me. But anywho, so we was doing a lot of back and forth. But we ended up moving out. We ended up getting back cool and different stuff and and trying stuff again, but it just, it was going back to the same things and I just didn't understand why. 
But now that I go back and revisit, he was acting this way because I kicked him out. He felt like he couldn't trust me, trust me no more. He felt like he had to move differently and stuff like that. But I'm like, yes, I kicked you out, but you did not have a place to stay for one. For two, you agreed to talk to me after I kicked you out. So once you make the agreement, we've decided to move past that. So why are you still stuck on the fact that I kicked you out? If we're gonna move on, let's move on. You know what I'm saying? So he just started moving differently after I had kicked him out. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So, and this is when we got back together. So um, I had addressed it and I'm like, look, cause, cause I pay attention to people really well. Cause the way he was acting was not how he was acting before at all. He was just like, nah, he was like, I still have love for you, but I just know I gotta switch up how I move. Like, you know, you kicked me out and left me on, you know, stranded and everything like that. And I'm just like, I, I didn't leave you stranded. But I understand what he was saying. He was like, you got me living with me because I don't know and everything like that and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, but you do know them because like you didn't know them, know them, but it ain't like those are brand new people. Okay, anyway. um. So I'm like, okay, so basically he just felt like he had to switch up on me because I kicked him out. So now he felt like he had to get me back. I don't know. I feel like that's what his issue was. And so, um, so that was that. So anywho, we just, we tried to get back together, but it was just not working. So, you know, being the adults that we were, the adult that I was, <laughs> I'm just kidding, let me stop. Um, you know, I, I said, you know what? This, 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 this thing is not going to uh, work out for us. So we need to figure something out. I hate confusion, y'all. I hate confusion so bad. I really do. So I'm like, we need to figure out something to figure out something quick because um, this is not going to work. So what we decided to do was we decided to basically be friends with benefits. Like we kept up our same in the end of the deal. He was still, um, he was still working and everything. Now, mind you, he came down here with no car. So, you know, he was using my car and everything to get to work like that, and yada, 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 and I was cooking and all that stuff, but I'm like, when we break up, you can still have those benefits. But, let me fix my eyebrows so y'all ain't sitting there looking at this. Now, I'm like, once we break up, I'm like, you can still have those benefits, because I'm like, you know, I still need some. Y'all nah, nah. I'm scared. But, uh, we just made an agreement to, like, we'll still hang out, we'll still, you know, I'll still cook. He can still use my car. Like, we just had, like, you know, still come over and cuddle. Because I'm like, I can't just. Now, I'm used to sleeping with you in the bed every night. Like, and even if you don't live with me no more, like, I'm still used to that because you come over here every single day. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I'm like, that's what I'm used to. So I'm like, I'm not trying to switch up on that. And I'm like, plus, well, so, you know, we both got needs. So, you know, I'm just like, we just don't have to figure something out so we did we we decided to keep things going the way we were going just without being in a relationship and so um but this is the rules that I gave him I'm like he's still using my car but I told him I said when it comes to my car yes we're not together and and sorry for the language but I'm telling y'all exactly what I told him like this is exactly what I told him <laughs> I said when it comes to my car don't pull up on no bitches. Don't have no bitches in my car. And yeah, that was the rules for the car. And then, you know, since we were still messing around, I'm like, if you decide to sleep with someone else, since we're still sleeping together, let me know so that we can stop. Because I don't play the sleeping with multiple people thing. Like, if you're sleeping with me, if we're sleeping together, then we're sleeping. If you have, and if you haven't been going with somebody else, let me know. Just let to just call me courtesy because I will let you know. <laughs> like, I will let you know. So that was the agreement. He was like, okay. He was like, whatever, whatever, and all this extra stuff. But, yeah, so that was that. So I'm going to say a week after me and him made that agreement, a week after me and him made that e agreement, no, blame. I'm going to make no e agreement, made an agreement. Um, you paying attention to what you're doing, baby? Don't be on that toilet. Pay attention to what you're doing. Um, I want to say the next Tuesday. You done, baby? Here. So I want to say about a week. Either it was either like an exact week or like a little less than a week after that. It was the. It was all these things happened on Tuesday. Tuesday used to be my Tuesday. Ain't never my favorite day of the week. I'm just saying a lot. Wednesday always been my favorite day. But 
um, the very next Tuesday, I get a snap from this female. Let me know. I got a snap from this girl that I know. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me get back to what I'm saying though. But so like a week after that, this girl that I know um, hit me up on Snapchat. Um, she hit me up and I still have all the messages. If I was really a G, it ain't even gonna be a G because I'm a G. But I still actually have these messages between me and her. Not because I just want them. It's just because we were saving the conversation and me and her still Snapchat friends. <laughs> but, um... No, she has snapped me and was like, OMG, D, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, sorry for what? Like, nobody's able to just out the blue just snap me talking about they sorry. So I'm like, sorry for what? She was like, I almost talked to your ex. I didn't know that was your ex. He came at me and different things like that. She was like, but I turned him down. So I'm on, I'm like, who? Are you talking about Stan? Because Stan talked to everybody. So I'm just like, you don't have to apologize for that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, she's like, no, I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about Dre. <laughs> and so I'm like, uh, oh, okay. Now listen, me and him just had to talk the previous week about like what the rules was, okay? We just had to talk the previous week about what the rules was. She was like, um, she was like, I just found out that he was your ex. Um, I'm so sorry I wasn't trying to talk to him like that. And I'm just like, nobody really knew we was together to be for real. So like, you don't really have to apologize for that. And she's like, um, she's like, I won't talk to him if you don't want me to. But I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> if I don't want you to. Okay, whatever. I ain't even gonna address that. I, I think you should just, you know, leave him alone being that that's my ex. But you know, it's okay because I'm like, she's younger than me, like, you know, maybe she's just saying she ain't know she wouldn't hit. Okay, whatever. Um, I was like, girl, not talk to him. He's single as a prankle, you know. Talk to him. I said, and y'all, let me take the whole time that I'm talking to this girl. I'm like giving her hints as to, you know, what's going on. And so she was like, are you sick? She was like, are you for real? She was like, because I want to talk to him and everything. And I'm like, yeah, girl, talk to him. But just make sure when you talk to him, let him know that he needs to stop coming to my house. And she was like, okay, I'll let him know and everything like that. And I'm just like, <laughs> and so um that was that was that week and so that was that day and i told him i said now look i know we have an agreement but um i said whatever whatever girls or females or anything that you're talking to i need you to keep that out my face and i said to be honest i said you better off you better off talking to somebody in the military around this motherfucker because i'm like I've been here, unfortunately, for five years at the time. I've been here for a long time. So the only people that I probably don't know, which I probably still do know, are incoming freshmen, which I knew them too. But I'm just like, the people that I probably don't know are incoming freshmen. So anybody that's been here and that's black, I probably know. So I'm, t I'm telling them, I'm like, it's your best bet that you mess with somebody in the military. <laughs> um, mess with somebody that know how to keep their mouth shut. And I said, because everything gets back to me everything like and i don't have to ask i'm not a person so tell me you know people literally just come up and volunteer information to me literally and so um he's like what you talking about like this and this and this and i'm like okay so old girl hit me up talking about you trying to talk to her went through the whole spiel and everything like that he was like oh she lying she lying she trying to talk to she trying to talk to the homie she was trying to smash the homie so she's trying to talk to me too i already know she just trying to smash i'm like okay whatever i don't need no explanations <laughs> Just keep that away from me. I was like, man, okay, whatever. So that was that Tuesday, you know, that she snapped me and everything. So the following Tuesday, I get another snap from a girl and I'm like, okay, what is it now? What is it now? What is it now? Hey, baby. The recording. But this time, won't you save me? This time, won't you save me? And I'm back, and I'm back, and I'm back. No, I'm playing, let me stop. Um, I don't think I see my comedy. Back to the story. So, um, the very next uh, week after me and him, I had told him, like, hey, keep that from around me. Do, do, do what you need to do to keep that from around me. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because we're in there talking. I thought she was talking to me. 
So the very next week, um, the same girl hits me up. And she's like, uh, let me wait for my flat iron. The same girl hits me up. I'm waiting for that to heat up. And she's like, D, can I ask you something? And I'm like, sure, you know, what's up? And she's like, can you tell me why you and Dre broke up? And I said, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, I'm not finna get this girl. Now, mind you, I know this girl. Like, I know her. Like, this is my friend. This is somebody that comes into my job and sees me all the time. This is somebody, you know, she's a, she's a, I've met her through other people. You know, she's really cool, really nice and everything like that. So, like, I know her. So, this is, I think this is why she's so comfortable with just coming and snapping me and everything because I actually know her. And so, um, she called me big sis, like. All this different type of stuff. So she snaps me and she's like, you know, can you tell me why, you know, y'all broke up? And I'm not finna tell not a soul outside of my immediate circle why we broke up. Like, because, but this, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but it's like, niggas a treat. Dudes will treat different females differently. Like, you know, you get a different side of a dude out of, you know, different females bring out a different side of a dude. So it's just like, the way he treated me may not be the same way he treated you. may not have been the same way he treated the girl before me. So it's just like, I'm not gonna like put it all on him because I'm just not like, you know, I had some contributions to our breakup too. So that's what I did. I said, I had to break things off because of my insecurities. He's a good dude, which he is, which he is, not for me. And so I said, he's a good dude. I just let some of my insecurities get in the way. And so I had to, I had to break it off. I was, I was too, but I'm not lying though. Like I really, it was a point in time that I really did become like insecure because I'm like, we would be chilling. He got females back to back to back snapping him. He got, he always in his phone like, and then on top of that, we gonna get into that. We gonna get into that. Let me not get too ahead of myself. But, um, but no, so it's just like, I'm not finna tell you all the ins and outs to everything. So that's what I told her. She was like, oh, okay, I figured. She was like, he's just really interesting. Like, I think he's a cool dude, but he's just hard to read. And I'm just like, um, okay. You know, like, you know, I kind of understand that. And so she was like, I'm like, you know, what's going on? Like, what you, what you saying? She trying to tell me something, but I'm like, what you saying? She was like, well, me and him had sex yesterday. And she said, now nah, he's not talking to me. I said, Y'all had sex yesterday. So, you know, in my mind, I'm starting to replay things in my mind. I'm starting to make things add up. So, like I told y'all, I let him use my car. Now, this is just convenient. Let me just paint a picture. This is convenient for me. Parking on campus is ass. Always been, always will be, unless they just get us some more parking. So, I'd be like, okay, well, you gotta go to work. So, just drop me off at class. That way, I ain't gotta find parking. And you go and take the car, you know? So, I had to remember, I said, she told me she was like we had sex yesterday mind you this is a tuesday she said we had sex yesterday now he's not talking to me and so i'm just like hmm this is a tuesday she said, yesterday was monday which means i was in class yesterday and so i started to add things up i started to add things up mm -hmm. i started to add things up i said monday i had class and this man has been with me the thing is the last time that i approached him about the situation like keep your business about my you know that was, he ain't, he ain't left my house. That was last Tuesday, he ain't left my house since then. So I'm like, when could y'all possibly have the time to smash? Like, when, when would there be the time? So I had to add things up. I said, oh, you guys had sex when I was in class. Because the thing is, Monday, I got out of class early and I was calling him and I'm like, uh, why is he not answering my calls? Why is he declining my calls? Like, I'm out of class early, come and get me. And so, I mean, he finally came and got me, but I'm just like, but I never questioned it. Like, I never like, question like why you not answering because i'm not that type of female like i, I just didn't question i was just like oh he was busy like what she was busy doing so i'm like uh so i'm like, uh, so I'm like oh y'all had sex while i was in class which means you know my car was involved because he had my car when i was in class <laughs> okay that broken rule and so i'm like oh so i'm pissed y'all i'm pissed and i'm not pissed because first of all I'm pissed for a lot of reasons. I'm pissed because you didn't ask the girl to look up to me. I'm pissed because you didn't use my car. I'm pissed because, yeah, I'm just pissed. Like, I made the rules so simple for you. Like, don't smash nobody without telling me so we can stop. And then don't use my car in any of your sexual transactions or any transactions that you got going on with females. That was simple. I thought, you know, and I was still cooking and I was still, because that's what I wanted to do. It's not because, you know, I was 
that's what I wanted to do. And I said, let me glue this wig down. But, and I'm like, you broke simple ass rules. Like, I'm like, you were stupid as, anyway. Um, so, <laughs> I got home and I'm telling my mom and I'm like, mama, I'm trying to calm down. Cause she's snapping me the whole time. And so I'm getting information out of her. And I'm like, what? He had sex with you and then hit you back up? I said, I cannot believe he would do something like that because he has never done nothing like that to me. I'm so sorry. And which I really was sorry that he did it to that girl. I don't like that type of stuff. Don't smash it and dip, try to dip out. Like, I really don't like that type of stuff. And she was like, yeah, it's just so like, now he's not talking to me. He's just so hard to read and everything. And I'm like, girl, just try to snap him again. Like maybe he's just having a bad day and all this type of stuff. Mind you, y'all, he, he, during this whole process, He's still at my crib. He came and got me. All this stuff. And I'm and I'm talking to her. I'm talking to her. Snapping her. And he, I'm in the car with him. All this different type of stuff. So, you know, um, he done got me. And he came and got me. Because somebody dropped me off at my house. He came and got me. And I'm like, uh, I got somewhere to be. <laughs> Jonah. Jonah Rod. Cause I'm not mean, even though I could have been. It's plenty. It's plenty of times, and y'all see what all these damn story times I tell you. It's plenty of times I could have been mean to these dudes, but I have not. I've never not once treated no nigga foul ever. I don't care what none of them say. <laughs> I personally was not perfect in any relationship, but I have not treated anybody like crap. That's just not me. Um. So he pulled up. I'm like, yep, I'm ready to go. I dropped him off. Which I came to find out. Let me tell you. Let me make the connection. So. Come to find out. He. One of his friends that he ended up getting introduced to. Out of the friend group that I introduced him to. Stays in the on campus apartments here. Okay. Um. So. And, and I'm not even. I'm not even fitting out to hide anything from y'all. This nigga played me. He dogged me out. Like. That's just what it is. Um. You know. He like. Can you drop me off? to so-and-so crib in Jardine because, you know, I'm trying to do this and this and this and whoop de whoop de whoop And I'm like, okay, thinking that I'm dropping him off at his own house, which I am. But during that time, oh, girl, stay over there too. And so I guess he's using that opportunity to go over there because guess what? Her roommate told me that she's seen his ass over there multiple times. Okay, so that time that I'm dropping you off to, you know, go and smoke or do whatever you gotta do, you you going around all the apartments, find a little girl. I said, okay, you played me. You played me, let me, you played me. I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one. I'm, I'm gonna take that one like a G, cause you, you, you did it well, you did it well. And the only reason I really wasn't paying attention cause I'm in school, I don't have time to, figure out like first of all i'm not one of those type of females anyway like, what's he doing what's he doing where he at where he at i'm not that type of female so like when i'm in class that's what i'm focusing on when i'm at work so i'm focusing on we at home so i'm focusing on i don't have time for my mom to be wandering and everything like where is my dude at this and this and yada yada because i just was not like that anywho so yeah when i was dropping him off in like uh in in jardine um that's when he was smashing a girl so i'm just like okay whatever you got me so um anyway moving on so the day that i found out and got mad and dropped him off and everything like that i blocked him on everything this and this and that and, <laughs> and so just fast forward um throughout the course of our relationship because i'm not going to tell y'all full story because y'all really don't it just this is this is where the sprint connection comes in during the course of our relationship he did obtain a few jobs actually and one of those jobs happened to be spray um so his agreement was that you know he'll get on my account but he'll pay everything because he get a nice hefty discount at sprint i said i'm always with the hefty discounts let me tell you <laughs> i'm always with the hefty discounts but um but no so that was our agreement like you know he worked at sprint he gonna pay the bill plus he needed a new phone too he gonna pay the bill and by working there he got a work phone and get free phones anyway this may end up having three phones on my account so let me tell y'all what my account is looking like i have his three phones on there my phone and then my ipad so i have five devices on my account five and so um <laughs> at first like i wasn't even tripping i i, I just wasn't because i'm like okay i don't trip over nothing maybe i need to start like maybe that's my freaking problem i don't trip over nothing everything is just oh i figure 
Oh, I knew, I knew he was gonna do that. Oh, I'm not surprised. That's my answer to everything. Okay, maybe I need to start tripping. But, um, so he had three phones. So when I'm asking him, he like, oh yeah, well one is for my Manhattan number because I don't want niggas having, I don't want Wichita niggas having my Manhattan number and I don't want, um, I don't want Manhattan niggas having my Wichita, just all this extra stuff. And I'm like, okay, whatever, blah, blah. I don't care. As long as you pay the bill, I don't care. And he was paying it. So I'm just like, hey, because my two devices is 150 and like, hey, I don't have to pay anything. You can have it. Oh. But anywho, going, going, going back to what I was going back. So yeah, he had three devices. And I'm like, okay, well, he paying for him, so I'll be doing a damn less, you know, if if he got three devices. And plus, we had already made an agreement, like, that even if we went together, we were still going to remain cool. That was our agreement. And so, um, and that he would still pay the phone bill. Because he was like, he told me from the jump, like, when he got there, he was like, do you be stressing out a lot? I just want to help you. Like, that's it. I just want to help you. And I'm like, okay, here we go again. I don't, I don't never ask no man for help because as soon as you open up your mouth to ask a man for help, they either gone and now you know my business, you can hold that over my head or they gone and now you, can hold, uh, uh, now you know my business, you can hold it over my head. And that's why I don't never ask, I don't like to ask anybody for anything, but I definitely don't like to ask a man for nothing because as soon as I get vulnerable and get to, they gone, they gone. I don't, I don't, I don't like to ask a man for nothing. And so, um all these flyaways nah but um I'm gonna fix it y'all know I look crazy y'all know I look like uh the Adams family right now by the hip but I'm finna fix it um cause I'm gonna have to redo this part right here but no so anyways naturally when all that stuff popped off um we end up you know not wanting to be on the same phone plan anymore. <laughs> so anyways, so much after after the situation with him and the girl, me and him didn't get back. You know, he he was begging me to go on a date and all this extra stuff, blah, 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 blah. We ended up getting back cool and talking and still hanging back out and all this stuff. But then he got to acting stupid again. Got to, you know, wouldn't talk to me. Um, I would go and pick him up from his house. Wouldn't talk to me on a whole car ride there. Wouldn't talk to me at my house. Wouldn't talk at all. I'm like, why would you have me pick you up if you're not talking? But I started to realize, I started to realize that this man only wanted to come over because he was having tensions, tensions, <laughs> tension with his roommates. That ain't got nothing to do with me. They probably see that you stupid, just like me, okay, whatever. They probably been seeing. Actually, I, I knew it from the moment I met him. I actually knew that he was a dog when I met him. I just wanted to pet him. I knew he was barking, you know. I just need to have that captain save a whole spirit out of my head because people cannot be saved. So I need to get that out of my head. But I'm just like, um, let me see if I can fix this. I'm just, anyway, back to the story. <laughs> back to the story to him. So, um, yeah, we ended up getting back cool and hanging out and all this different extra stuff and just decided to be that cool. Well, he started to be on the same bullshit again and not coming in and not speaking or um, just, just stupid stuff. Stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. Y'all, let me tell, let me tell, let me tell y'all this little bitty T, T piece. Let me go back and then I'm come back forward. So when I found out that they had sex, I had started to think over my week. And this is how God be, be, be looking out for it, really. The week that they had sex, I was on my cycle. So I couldn't do nothing with him because I was on my cycle. So I'm like, thank God, because if he would have tried to smash me, okay, man, her, it's okay, whatever. Okay, so I'm like, thank God, God had my, God had my back. But let me off my phone running out of storage. That's why I keep doing all these extra in and outs and having to restart and start back and restart and start back. But any, any, let's just get to the end because my phone about to be out of storage and my phone about to die. So, anywho, we get to the point where we're not talking anymore. But I have to hit him up because I'm like, my phone is off, my iPad is. I had to end up selling my iPad. I had to, had to end up giving my phone back and all this different stuff because of him and so i'm hitting him up like i have not done nothing to him y'all so i'm hitting up my best friend and i'm like can you tell him to hit me up please because i need to return these devices either so i can get my phone cut back on or so i can just give them their devices back so i don't owe them money and so anyways my best friend ended up getting in contact with him because old dude blocked me so he ended up messaging me from his new facebook i guess whatever the fuck it is and he was like uh 
So I, I heard you wanted to hear from me. I said, hey, so you know, I'm gonna need those devices. Like, I'm talking so nice, y'all. I'm like, I need those devices so I can return them back to Sprint. You know, Sprint's been calling, my phone is off. Y'all, he messaged me back talking about some, is you gonna come get these devices? I said, no, no, I'm not. He's talking about, is you gonna come to Dallas and get these devices? I'm in Dallas, I ain't come back to Kansas and all the different stuff like that. And I'm just like, it's so funny that you're trying to brag to me that you're in Dallas when you're in Dallas because of me we ain't even gonna go there though okay anyway we're not even gonna go there but he's like now nah, you can come down here and get these phones and blah 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 blah, blah. talking about he already done got him switched over to metro and i'm like okay well you know what i'm gonna still be nice you don't need to send me the phones back because he got to talking about some uh i can't believe i'm talking right now and everything like that i could really care less to be talking like i've done something to him y'all like i've done something to him anyway and so he was like well if you're not gonna come out here to dallas and come get him then you're just not gonna get him i said well you know what there's probably a sprint in dallas like you just go return those yourself he missed me like i'm not doing that shit man i said what is all the hostility for like i broke hearts like i was out here smashing the homie like what is all the animosity that was you you know so i'm just like Ugh. but anyway i don't like to i'm not an arguer i don't like to argue with people i've never been argue i don't like to go back and forth especially when we're not coming to one conclusion so i'm like you know what god got him i'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna worry about it that's how i handle everything god got him because if i had and then so he tested me we're not even gonna go back to the relationship because i'm like that man tested me so many times. i ain't never wanted to swing on a man ever i ain't never put my hands on a man i don't believe in that nothing but that man that man there really 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 wanted to haul off and slap this man he talking to me like i'm like you need to run me back some of my money you need to run me back that airplane ticket you need to my little airplane airfare points i gave you need to run that back you need to run back all my love and time and kindness and all the money and stuff i gave you now let me tell you i was a dummy i was a dummy you know just me being nice you need a way to get to work i can't always drop you off take my car or you didn't have a job when you first got down here, so here's some money just to hold you up. That's just me being nice. But now I realized <laughs> you can't be nice to everybody. So yeah. So with that being said, my phone bill with Sprint is fourteen hundred dollars. Um, I try to call Sprint and try to report them stolen or anything like that, but I can't report them stolen until a payment is made. I'm like, well, you know. I can't make pay. That's why it's pay. And I'm like fourteen hundred dollars. I'm like I'm a college student. I'm you know all this different stuff. I don't have money to pay fourteen hundred dollars. Okay, I just don't. But still, I'm like this man. It's on my credit, y'all. It's on my credit. But it's all gonna work out in my good in the end, though. I already know that because I've been too nice to people for for stuff not to work out in the end, and I've had too much of a pure genuine heart for stuff not to work out in the end. But yeah, I don't talk to that man no more. It's so crazy. It's just crazy. I'm so disrespectful. That was it. That was the end of my story time. Let me get up off here for my phone, dog. Y'all like that video? Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And look, I'm going to come back to you with my videos. I'm out, y'all, because I need to go in here and eat, so I'm done. Do see doo.